Hello, everyone. How are you? I'm sure you're all staying safe and happy. It's Sunday afternoon here in sunny California. And I have another sweet story to share with you. It's all about, uh, in the series of Secret to Success, and one of them is, of course, staying focused, right? Um, oftentimes what happens when we're doing work, homework, or something like that, uh, or studying or working or whatever, there's so many distractions. And one biggest distraction is, of course, our phone. It's right next to us. It's it's probably blinking or you know notifying us of messages, and we want to quickly take it and see. But in that process, what happens is, of course, we miss out on whatever we are doing, right? We are distracted and we've soon lost the thought of where we were. And to get back to where we were takes a little while. So let's learn from this story. Actually, you know, in in the Ramayana as well, uh, there is this uh, description of when Rama and Sita and Lakshmana go into the forest and they ask, they approach Valmiki Ji and they ask him, where should we live? Rama asks Valmiki ji, where should we live? And Valmiki ji smiles. He says, you're the Lord of the universe and you're asking me where to live? Where are you not that I have to show you a spot, right? But then he says, anyways. And then there are uh, many different places where uh, Valmiki ji sort of gives us the address to God right? Where do you find God? Where does God reside? Where does Rama reside, right? So, uh, and one of them, he says, is if you are, you reside in the hearts of those who are as focused or have vision only for your darshan or only to have a glimpse of you, who are that focused. They don't want to see anything else but you. They're satisfied only then. And this he compares to the chataka bird. It's a it's a bird. Um, they say the speciality of this chataka bird is that this bird always looks out for the rain cloud. When will I see dark clouds? And he's very happy. And why does he look for dark clouds? Because he drinks or quenches his thirst only from the raindrops the first raindrops that come. He does not go drink from the river or the lake or the pond. No other water body entices him. He says, I will only drink like that. Somebody who's so devoted. Now, how do you translate this? Um, So what if you are not, um, you know, if you're not somebody who looks at Rama as God, does that mean God doesn't live in your heart? Of course not. It means to say that if you're focused, one who's focused in whatever activity they're doing, of course, you know, and and have a higher goal, of course, God resides in their heart, not one who's fickle-minded and getting distracted here and there, right? So um, towards establishing this point, here goes the story. So there was this king. His name was King Bruce. Yes, you heard me right. King Bruce. He was a ruler of Scotland. Now, we know that um, the English, they were known for a long time in history. They were out there conquering different lands and capturing it and annexing, you know, and building their empire. Now, King Bruce did not. He lost so many wars to the English that he said, I need to. And the English had already captured his lands and annexed it and all of that. So he kept on going back, you know, to fight and to retrieve his uh, uh, land and his people and all of that. So he really wanted to free his country and his people from English rule. So he kept going back to war and he kept getting defeated each time. So now this particular time, he had to run for his life. So he runs here, he runs there, he finds a tiny cave and he goes and he hides there. Now in the cave, obviously no cable TV back then, no Netflix, so no way to distract yourself. So sitting there thinking, very important thing, thinking. Now he's thinking how to get back his kingdom. And while he's thinking, he suddenly observes a little spider climbing up. There's a little opening on that cave where he's sitting. 
and he sees this spider climbing up. This little spider goes up and he falls. And he goes up and he falls. And King Bruce thinks, how many times is the spider going to keep going up and falling down? And he keeps observing the spider and he sees the spider never gives up. He goes and finally the spider gets footing or whatever. He's able to get the web out and he spins an entire beautiful silvery web on top. And until that web is built, the spider does not give up. So inspired by watching this little insect build its web, King Bruce also gets inspired. He says, I should also not give up. My goal is to go, uh, you know, free my country. My, my people need a free land. I'm going to go back. So he goes back with that renewed enthusiasm, vigor, collects all of his people, gets an army going. And this time they beat the English. And oh my God and frees his people, right? And there's a beautiful quote by Swami Chinmayananda, which I'd like to share. He sees, keep your hands or keep your mind where your hands are. So basically, your thoughts should also be where your hands are working. You can't be doing something and be distracted in the head, right? Then you're not focused. So it's all about being focused. There's another important thing here as well. Uh, our thoughts and our words and our actions or deeds. If they're all in sync, we'll be happy. If they're out of sync, then there is definitely reason that will put us unhappy, right? Manasa, vacha, and karmana. These three have to be in sync. Yoga is all about being in sync completely, right? Manasa, vacha, karmana, right? I hope you like the story. Haryom and Jagradev. Have a fantastic time. Stay safe. Stay inspired. Until next time.